joined by loads of runners. There's a dog there coming, so you have to get prepared for that. I'd reel her in so that she, because she'll just she'll swing around you like crazy. Otherwise, just So, right, let's find this hole in the fence then. So, by the way, quarries are not safe areas to play. Stay away. Uh, so, as you can see, I've got my fan crew here. They're cheering me on. And this is the sort of thing I expect this sort of, you know, fan club to kind of, you know, give me that, get through the fence, go on, Matt, do it. You know, nobody else will. They're all afraid. They think they're going to get arrested. But just go on, Matt, go on. So, yeah. Ah, well anyway, um, I think this place hasn't been in use for about 20 years, but let's just hedge my bets to say 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 or 30 years. So I might be right at one of those, so now all the critics can give me the exact figure, and uh, I'll have been right on one of them, I'm sure. So let's just say last 30 years, look, I'm definitely right. Somewhere in the last 30 years, maybe, let's make it 100. Somewhere in the last 100 years this place has been in use. So, yeah. But if you know better, then let us know in the comments below. So yeah, we've got a big, uh, big old, um, well, I don't know what, what you'd call it really. It's, um, it's a container for keeping hold of old fluids. So it's, it's like a reservoir of some description, but I know there's, it's full of water or something, might be acid or something, but you can just about see the edges now of the uh, quarry over the back there. Hmm. There's a there's a picture of a man here, yeah? and he was trying to he was trying to climb up a, a hill that was like that. So he he just don't climb hills that are like that. Climb the ones that are like that. Yeah. But uh, there's a bit of equipment up here. I don't know if it's still in use, like electrical equipment. Maybe this is to warn them if there's some sort of uh, spillage, because this may be dangerous, dangerous stuff in here that they can't be asked to uh, take away. Can't imagine why that would be, but uh, yeah. Quarries are not play areas, but they are urbex areas. Oh look, you could actually take that off if you had a screwdriver, but I wouldn't do that. Oh. I've done this by drone anyway. There's some sort of uh, equipment there that's a stirrer to stop it kind of uh, stop it stagnating because it probably become a problem. It might become explosive or something. You never know. So they were obviously stirring it from time to time. Oh, whoa! There we go. There's an impressive quarry. Wow. So apparently this is not a play area. I don't know. It looks like a bloody good play area to me. It's exactly the sort of place I'd wish to go playing in if I had uh, had the choice as a child. This would be it. Um, so there's not a lot to see in these areas. I've drove, I've flown around them with the drones. So we will show you now.
<laughs> click to drone footage, um, click back from drone footage and uh, we shall go for a walk down in these areas because I've been told that there are some uh, nice bits of equipment in there which makes it worth worth the trip. Oh. And, and uh, basically the doors are wide open so you can just walk in. But I've not been in there, I've just uh, flown the drone around you. Oh, it's a good, good place to fly a drone actually, yes. Oh. So, I'm with us. Are you, do you want to be on film? Oh shit, hang on. Typical. I'd lost something. Ah, there's a good start. There we go. Yeah. So you guys are uh, happy to be on film? I'll introduce you if you are. I'll just like we've got uh, Richard and John, or Richard and Judy <laughs> from. Uh, yeah, I have to do that joke. Sorry. Um, right. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, we're here with um, Richard and uh, Judy, I mean, uh, John. John, John from uh, uh, sort of um, the north, shall we say, or is that mm, North yeah. Wales, Mid Wales, and maybe, yeah, so not originally, but now, Mid Wales, Snowdon? Yeah. Yeah, Snowdon area? Kind of. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. So, uh, John, at least, is a loyal follower of the channel. And this this guy, maybe not so much, but uh, <laughs> decided to come down for a drive today. <laughs> yeah, it's like see how we uh, Wiltshire boys do it. <laughs> so, uh, but there is a sort of like marathon 500 runners thing going on right beside us. And uh, yeah, technically we're not supposed to be in in here now, but uh, I didn't see anybody telling us not to uh, that we'd have to get out. So. Mm. I'm just going to carry on until I'm told different. Which won't happen because nobody gives a damn about up here. Ah. But this is a December, nearly New Year 2020. So we made it this far. And uh, thanks to Oh god, I can't remember his name now. Is it Dominic something on the channel who suggested I come down to see this one? So thanks to you, mate. We're here. So if you've got any suggestions of good places to go and visit, uh, especially if they're really very close to me, so I don't have to spend much petrol money, <laughs> or in the southwest of England, uh, that would be good. Let us know. Because we're always looking for good tips. Especially stuff that hasn't been done before, that would be good. And somewhere that's near to a Weatherspoons. Yes, and it's got to be a Weatherspoons nearby. Or at least um, uh, Domino's Pizzas that will come out to where we're doing the urbex. That own four wheel drives. Yep. If, if you weren't supposed to go in here, why would there be a hole in the fence? That's what I gotta say. If you weren't supposed to do it, why would this exist? Look, it's like even my dog could get through that. Even my my weirdly um, fragile Malamute could probably do that. Look, see, she did that easily. Oh, and Richard did it even easier than I did it because he's. Uh, He's a thin chap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So me, me and my dog, um, we're sort of like a bit wider. So yeah, I've never, I've never actually bothered to walk down here. I just assumed that most of the equipment would have been ripped out, but um, I think it's Dominic sent me some photos. So. Uh, and this is the point now where the uh, the trolls say, I wish you'd shut up. I would wish you'd shut up. Well, I could shut up, but you'd just be listening to wind noise, wouldn't you? So um, we'd have to dub it with some music and then you'd be complaining that it wasn't your type of music, so. Of Jimmy Savile Hotline. Yeah.
What's that number that the BBC always used to use? 01811 John knew it. Oh, yeah, it's Jimmy, Jimmy Savile. Many, many a time phoning Swap Shop and Saturday Superstore. <laughs> Never getting through. Never the Jimmy Savile helpline, though. No. Oh, okay. Just a, just a shack, but let's go and have a quick look. I couldn't fly the drone in there. I'd have lost signal, so oh, we got here then. Yep, just a shack. Yeah. So there's um there's a uh, little thing in the corner with PPE, which would obviously be in some sort of uh, emergency emergency equipment, and there's some old air hose air hose stuff there. So, hmm, lots of tractor tyres and a little bit of electrical equipment. Yeah, and whatever this is. Uh, fancy having a quick look and see what the perspective's like. I flew my drone from up there last time I was here, so you'll see that on the footage. But yeah, this must be one of the roads that goes down. Oh no, watch out for kids. You're gonna die. I wonder how many kids or people have actually died by just walking around up here. Uh, not that many, I would guess. So the biggest thing they're worried about is, is the uh, the walls coming down because they're quite steep. As long as you don't walk near the walls, um, you could get a like a landslide or a, a slide off the walls. But I can't see that that's going to affect you if you're well away from the edges. God, a life quick quicksand there. It's a big old motor here, which. Uh, doesn't seem to uh, have a home. I know it made it down here. Hmm. It's not connected to anything. How would a thing like that just sort of hmm, find its way there? So yeah, being one of the highest spots in Wiltshire makes it a good place for a microwave and phone tower. The Westbury Horse nearby. I know, let's click to Westbury White Horse footage with a drone. And back. So yeah. Right. Um, yeah, it looks a bit more interesting. These are the bits I couldn't get into with a drone. So which side do we walk to avoid uh, mud up here? I reckon. So I've got a couple of water butts. 
And is that a reservoir tank? Don't know. So, so that's a fair size thing. Looks like it's got pipes connected into it, so it's probably some sort of reservoir. Right. This has been uh, shut off well. This must be a reservoir or something. I didn't realise it goes down quite a way. There's a lot of buildings down there. So, our power cables here. And our cables running off into the building there. Yeah, this looks like pumping, pumping equipment here. And somebody's cut, cut off the ladder up there. So I don't want people messing around up there. Probably a bit of water still stuck in inside. But uh, this is the building that might be of interest. There's supposed to be some machinery still left in there. So, oh. You reckon that's a borehole? Oh yeah. That's a good observation. I reckon that's a good observation, but you know what now, you're going to have about 100 people telling you you're wrong. <laughs> so it was, a good, it was a good effort, but tell him in the comments what it really is. Yeah. Now maybe they're pumping the water into the ground, it's a fracking, it's an early fracking experiment. <laughs> but, uh, hmm, I wonder if these still turn. Ooh. Nope. Nope. You'd have to get a bit of a lever arm on there. Ah. Right then, so we've got obtain shovel operator's acknowledgement before moving any vehicle. So I reckon it's going to be less water if we go around here. So we've got... Uh... Oh yeah. Looks interesting. We're going in at a higher level to a building here. Let's get prepared with the old low light because I'm going to. Oh, oh, there's a door. Oh, 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 oh. Theft, theft, theft. Right. Um. Oh, right, you can go in here then. Right. Some sort of chemical stores. Bit of electrics. And we've got some uh, metering equipment here, or some sort of some sort of equipment. That's a, an unusual, unusual meter. I've never seen one like that before. Flow flow control or something, maybe. concrete roof that's been shored up with a bit of wood might have come down at some point then so a bit of concrete failure perhaps oh. quarries are not to play areas they keep telling us this what's this my god what's this that's a bit of a beast what is that? That's a massive... Huh, that's gargantuan and it looks like that turns and swills. It's looking like it's to keep to keep a liquid turning. So all of that would have been moving, the whole lot. Wouldn't want to fall in there, you'd get um, moulinexed quite well I'm sure. There's something over there as well, it's like lots of gantries and walkways. I don't want you going down in these bits. Probably because it'd be quite hard to climb back out of it, I think. It's fairly tall, that concrete there. You'd have to get something to step up onto to get back up on there if you fell in. <laughs> Luckily, no water in there. So we've got a, a walkway here, but it's kind of... Well, I feel like going for it, because uh, 
the Harris is slightly moved back, so I'm gonna give it a go. Let's have a look. Right, so this door, well and truly closed, as is this. Now, is this safe? Yeah, I think it's safe, safe as houses. He says famous last words. So, all of that would have been controlled probably, he says, from this big motor here. So, I'm shaking everything before moving on it. Ah, that's what that noise was. That's the old uh, control circuitry. Let's see if we can see what motors were driving this then. Got some pumps and pressure gauges. And uh, there's a pressure pressure gauge there. I wonder if we can get in here. Oh, it's a bit, it's a little bit. Oh, they don't want you doing it. Let's just lean over the edge then. So all of that would have been stirring. Oh look, that there was a, it was coming down from the top. So it looks, it looks like they would have been dropping stuff in there, maybe breaking it up with a rock breaker there, I'm guessing. Tell me if I'm wrong. And then all the broken rocks and slurry would have gone down into here and been stirred. And there are chains. Can you see the chains? So the chains would spin around and keep constantly knocking and breaking and pulling at the material. Um, but yeah. So there's, there's side compartments, like that one, that's got a hole in it, side compartments. And there's lower areas that seem to have uh, grills, which would act as filters or sieves, I suppose, and would take away the finer, muddy material, but keep the coarser, rockier stuff in this part until it's been reduced. So it's like a natural filter around the edges. You can see there, it's some sort of like filtering system. Um, and there, again, you see, just... Not tiny filters, but, but just to get rid of the large rocks, to keep the large rocks in here, but take away the, the slurry. So, mm. smells of gas here for some reason. Don't know what that means, but, you know, like Brahma sales hotline. Brahma, this contains no oil. Um, and here's, here's the engine, some sort of engine. So what were they running this with, hydraulics or? Electrics. That looks like an. That looks like massive electric cables there. You are talking. Oh yeah, that's pretty big. So there's your electrics. Why don't we? Uh, so you've lost lost the old uh, gauges there. But so let's have a little look up here. So this would be an emergency stop, emergency stop button, and why don't we lock this, uh, lock this cupboard up? Oh, yeah. oh baby, oh yeah, all right, do you reckon? But nothing happened. Otherwise, I'd be being charged now. A couple of pounds a second. Hang on, look on, ready? Off. So let's get <laughs> right. Let's get this thing and lock it up so it doesn't make so much noise. Because that's that's a bit of a bummer. That noise. So let's get get a bit of glass or something down there. Look. I don't know. Anything? Can we get anything in there? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, I've got something. I've got something. I'll make that a bit less noisy. There you go. There you go. Keep for years now. A bit rusty here, so I've got to be a bit careful, but I'm holding on to things. But it doesn't look too bad. You see that's the stirrers underneath. It would have been quite a sight watching that going underneath you, like zoom, zoom. That's pretty impressive. Look, and there's more. There's more stirrers over there. More stirrers, and there's something exciting going on in that building. We'll have to go and have a look in there. And then you've got um, braking machines for braking up stuff and look, a, a conveyor to take it out and drop it down there. So there's a conveyor. So, I don't know, what do you reckon then? I mean, maybe 
the rough stuff the rough stuff comes in there and is broken up into smaller pieces which are then broken up into smaller pieces which then get channeled into another one which is does it more fine maybe even more fine and then stuff somehow or another comes out and is deposited on the backs of lorries down there what do you reckon what do you reckon I can't be that far wrong surely so uh, watching watching my flooring so you've got uh, valves and stuff here and uh, start and stop yeah, look. some of these switches are still uh, operational it says number one rough mill rough mill so we'll see if we see any others that say you know fine mill so again I'm just testing everything before I put too much weight down on it because they're they're not rusted through they look pretty good but you you know you never can tell so let's have a look what we got on the back of this motor then oh look we can actually see the brushes wow so that's I believe what you call a commutator I have to be careful go out here yes uh, it's getting close Ooh, right so we've got a commutator with the brushes and those are the brushes there now I should be able to lift them back and you can you can see the brushes now they're very stiff actually but those are the brushes there there's a brake here look a brake for the oh and it works that's a brake to stop the uh, to stop the drum there we are look but these are the three three phases Oh I was going to say I thought there was somebody in here then, but it's a it's a factory building across the top. So ah, what have we got then? Level meter, level or pressure meter, or something else. Hmm. So let's get up here then. War, 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 war. Let's have a quick look around on the edge here. I never thought there would be much of an explorer up here. I'm quite surprised. I missed this when I was flying the drone. But you've got to get inside it to kind of appreciate it, really. So let's have a look. We've got another one here. Pretty much a carbon copy of the earlier one. So let's uh, keep an eye on these, these things I'm standing on. And uh, you've got machine operation here. It's totally stuck duck now but you've got uh, another another machine here another filter oh look this so this is another channel so it's another rough channel another rough mill so if I imagine this might be rough mill number two if we see any signs anywhere can you see any signs no no signs but there's hydraulic pipes I think these could be hydraulics and uh, yeah 400 volt mains. Oh, I wonder when this was last in use then. I wonder when it was last used. So let's. Uh, it's going to be standing on a bit of concrete now. So there's these um, swillers. Swillers that are all around there. I wonder how we get down then into the actual. Uh, Exciting bit. How do we get down? I mean, it makes you wonder what what knocked on there, what banged on there to bend that, because this is bent pretty badly. What bent that then? <sighs> right, watch him on the floor, holding on to the sides. Yeah. Whoa, I'll have to ask the guys if they want to come in now. So yeah, this isolator requires a full permit. Can't get back up there. I don't know where the guys have gone. There they are. I don't know what the easiest way to get down there is. Do you walk down from the other side and curl down? Walk yeah, walk round. Probably the easiest way, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I can't easily get back through here, so I'll probably have to go the way I came. I could. I could get over there. Let's do it so we use a different way back. 
Yeah, this is fairly solid. I'm convinced. I'm convinced I can do this. So let's stand on there. So, right. So here you go. This is the uh, this is the stuff that's all left behind, and they don't clean up after them either. Oh, it's uh, Banksy's been here. Look, sorry, I mean Wanksy. Wanksy's been here, and uh, oh. Not much else to see apart from perhaps down into the teeth of the uh, of the beast. Oh no, it's been covered up. Probably not a bad idea, but I expect they'd be spinning spinning teeth to grind up the to grind up the rocks there. Hmm. Well, just want to see if we can see the exciting stuff. She wrapped herself up. She's a moron. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we got you. Yeah. God. So, yeah, looking good so far. I'm expecting the interesting things inside that building from what I've seen of the photos, if we can get in there. So. I don't know if there's any other way you can get in. Whether those walkways go down, I'm not sure. Didn't see too much. Oh yeah, it goes around, so it curves around and down. Sounds like we're not on our own, but uh, it's just a fabrication shed up the back. So there's chlorine in there. I wonder if it's been emptied out. I would have hoped so. It's pretty dangerous stuff. Hmm, what to say. Yep. No post today. It looks like there's an underground bit there. I'll have to have a look now. Oh, you, you, you stinkhead. Come on. You had to walk through the bloody puddle, didn't you, you bugger? There's um, some sort of like little steps down. I don't know if it goes anywhere exciting. Steps down by here. Probably just a pipe or something or a valve. Yeah, a couple of pipes. Nothing really to write home about. I don't know if those guys are going to go down that way. I'm going to see if we can walk down this way. See if it's possible. Doesn't look very good. No. No, there's too many thorns. I'm <laughs> going around the other way. Sod that. Oh, so they're all... I wonder whether it's going to be not steep enough to go down the bank. Ah, it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad. Give it a go. Save some time. This one turns. Oh God. I'm surprised we're not getting something out of that. So they've got um, safety cages for the rocks, potential rock falls there, it's all caged up. And uh, let's go and have a look in and around. We'll start at this end. Now there is a there is a walkway over there that goes into the back of the building. Hmm. Why did I miss that then? Maybe you can't get over to it. Maybe there's no walkway from there to there. Oh, and there's this in the hole in the ground. Some sort of sump. Whew. 
Right. Pipes going into the building. Right, let's go have a little look then. Will it give up its secrets easily? And all these buildings are closed up for probably not very much reason. There's nothing in them. You know, current lifting tackle tags to be used. Six monthly inspection, 14th monthly inspection. Stop. Blue circle cement it says up there. So this must have been a cement works. Which makes sense because there was a Westbury cement works. Um, was it Lafarge or something they were called? I don't know if I'm getting it right. Maybe Blue Circle again. Oh, they've done some stuff here to block people going down and getting in. So it might be you have to go in through the top up there, which is where we just came from. So I don't know. Oh, let's see whether or not this is viable. Oh. You can squeeze past the. Uh, you can squeeze past the, the bits there. Move it up. Container there. Oh, nice big transformer. And I don't know what that is up there. Is it some sort of Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi transmitter? It's a bit modern for a place like this. But uh, we've got uh, little leaky things down here. I don't know if these are worth worth anything looking at. So at the moment it does look like we're going to have to go back up the top in order to see what's going on. So, Alright. Deep cold water, do not swim. Well, do you know what? I was really thinking of having a swim then, but now they say it's going to be a bit cold. Maybe I'll give it a miss. Yeah, there we go. Don't quite know what these are for, but there we are. And there is the back of everything we've just been up. Now, these round chambers here and those round chambers up there are the stirrers, so the rock pools. So we are going to have to find a different way in, I think, up the top. Yeah. We're going to have to get in upstairs, I think. I don't think there's any way to get in down here. Not looking very good. So, it's going to be that door over in that corner. Now, what's in this building here? Can we see? Is there anything in there? in there I can't see. I'll have to see when we go home. Right. It's got a screw through the, the door there to stop us going in so this is not going to be very easy. Let's just uh, darken it down. Now it's all locked up around there. There is one door which is kind of where we came back at the top. I did see one door that seemed to be opening into the into the place so I think we're gonna have to go back up sadly Somebody there? No. What in there? <laughs> have to climb up a bit. Now up on top, there's actually a door that's open into the side of the building, but I don't know how you get from the edge across. It might be a, you have to step over, or you can kind of see it. If I'm not mistaken, it's kind of yeah. There's a door open there, but how do you get from? Oh, he's having a look. Look. 
how do you get from there over to there? Is there a walkway? That's the thing. Because that door's definitely open. But how do you do it? Is there a walkway across? Let's just see. No, there's not. There's no walkway. So, ooh, that's gonna be interesting. I think they've taken the walkway from there, across to there, away. If there is a walkway, they've taken it away. But that's definitely open. But how you get to it, I don't know. Hmm. I mean, you could, but it's risky. Go on the edge of the roof and then get up on top of there, but... It's the walkers. I'm gonna go and have a look up on top, see if there's any clues. I'm probably gonna have to change my battery now in a minute as well. That's gonna go off. And if, uh, if we can't get up there on the top, it might be a scoot across the roof, which is going to be quite risky. So I don't know how I'm going to do that with the camera, but we'll see. We shall have to see. There we are, you can see that, that doorway there. And you could go across the roof, sideways and in. Not for the, not for the faint of heart. Right then, oh, what we need is a big old ladder, which I think there is, somebody cut the ladder off there. What we need is to take that ladder over there and lay it across. So we've got a bridge to get into, to get into that area. But we might have to do that after I change my battery. So, oh, is the battery gonna last? Let's see. Oh yeah, well it's a bit of a... Oh no, we're, no, we're not going to lift that. We ain't going to lift that at all. Ooh, now that's, that's, that's tricky. How do you do that then? Is there, a ladder, is there a ladder on that side of it? Please be there. let there be a ladder. Oh, there's a lighter ladder there. Harris fence. Ooh, and one pipe, look, one pipe across. <laughs> this is gonna be tricky. This is gonna be very tricky. Unless, yes, unless we just go down onto this and we get in that way. I don't think we're gonna get across there, but I fancy my chances through there. That looks pretty good. But unfortunately, doggy, I don't think you're going to make it down there, so we'll have to do this in turns to see what's in there. Right, back after a battery change. Okay, so we're basically ready to go. In case I get over here, show them any laces. So, got to get down, oops, a daisy, tilt down. Got to get down onto there, in there, and then we'll see what happens from there. But that is a no-go. I can't get over there. So let's make sure this thing seems pretty solid. So right. Uh. Whoops, a daisy. So looking pretty good. Okay. Let's get my last one on this end and slide in. Ooh, so, just get your brightness up. Piece of piss. Ooh, yeah, it's definitely stuff in here. Oh, hang on, let's get my, get my coat out of there. Right. Whoa, okie doke. Let's get over this bit. Whoa, a bit sharp, that bit of metal, but... Well, hey, 
Job done. Okay, anyone else? Richard's game for it. They can't keep these uh, Welsh sheep farmers back. They're just like indomitable. And he's got professional wellies, look, as well. These he's are no messed about wellies. That's not too bad, is it? It's alright, isn't it? Just watch that you don't catch your clothes on, on that thing above, because I did, and uh, yeah, you got it. Piece of piss. Piece of piss. Well said. I'm not sure about this floor, so I'm going to just hold on to a few things. But uh, yeah, let's get my uh, light down to see in the dark a bit more. Good stuff. Well, this looks interesting. It's a large uh, machine there. Oh, it's quite solid, this, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite solid. Right, so we've got some sort of equipment chamber. Climb up here. There's a ladder. Somebody's placed down onto there. Quite kind of them, but I think you can go that way as well. So look, you can go around that way too. Down onto this piece of equipment. Look at that motor at the end, that's a bloody motor to drive this. That motor's like bigger than a few cars. <laughs> Don't know if I fancy fancy the ladder if I can help it. I'd rather use something else until I absolutely have to. That feels a little bit Unsure under my feet, but we up. Let's go and see where my poor dog is out here. There she is. Looks quite impressive, in yeah. There's um, a huge motor at the back end of the room and it, it's driving a massive uh, cylinder really, which is the whole length of the room. The cylinder is literally, you know, it's massive. So, little security camera up there. Ooh. We've got lights, lights underneath us there. She's a whiner. She's a poor whiner. You see the length of this thing? It goes all the way from that end of the room, right the way down. And then a machine, which is probably, th that cupboard is probably as tall as me. So let's go and see how big this thing is. Big stairs, right. the stairs look okay, don't they? some sort of grinding, grinding equipment to maybe mix cement or don't really know. I'll leave this one up to you guys because I mean it's obviously grinding or turning something but what I don't know and it's really sticky on the floor and it looks like it's the substance that they were probably grinding. It's white and it's like clay cement for some description. Just got a little side building off to the edge here. Let's get the lights on. Oops, can't, can't operate equipment with way. So I think these would have housed motors, more than one. So one, two, three, and the motor's probably gone. They'd been taken and they, they were driving onto this pump pump equipment so one two three pumps there so nice so you can see the see the scale of this thing against Richard there 
quite interesting when you go around this side. You can see the oil where it drops through. Right. On the ah, so one side of it's open, is it? Yeah, it is over this side. Yeah. Okay. I'll have a look at that then. You can see the footprints in the old uh, sludge here. And it is very slippy. It's the old uh, back of the machine. So do you think this was pumping stuff out or it was taking it in and down through the machine? Do you think it was coming in this way? Because it would seem gravity fed. Yeah. Like that would be more natural, isn't it, unless it's pumping it, but then it would have to be pressurised inside that vessel. So it seems like something might be coming in down here, maybe going up there, perhaps? Well, that hopper up there, I think it drops through there. Right, it's true. So it's got coming in, down, and up. Maybe this is the water feed. Yeah, maybe this is the water feed, and that's the solid feed. Yeah. It's mixing together. Mixes it together as it goes through. You can even see the valve here, the ball valve. And it, wait! Oh my god, I hope that's just water. Look. I'm not stealing water, I'm just moving it from one place to another. Okay? Mr. Police Orificer. You can see down the edge of the machine here and doors to the outside world it doesn't smell of anything that liquid so probably just rain water that's collected so these look like something interesting oh yeah oh yeah this is electric look flow meter mag flow so you can uh, operate the uh, operate the pumps and various things here with a digital system. So number one, number two. So let's, uh, let's have a look. You can see the scale again with Richard there. So Richard's about that high and this equipment maybe two or three times the height, at least two times the height. Watch this slippy floor. Ugh. Here we go. Keep your safety. Hmm. Somebody's uh, works papers. Did you work here? If you did work here, this is probably very familiar to you. So what, what was this about? Rather large stop. Very old fashioned, but a, that's a good old quality stop. And look, they still work. And the newer stuff tends to kind of jam up, but look at that, it's really old and still going. Wash down pump. I just found a DVD from 2006. What does it say? Making quarry risk. reassessment. Quarry risk. Video resources. Mature thinking. 12 minutes. Quarry rescue. 14 minutes. Play safe. Stay safe. 16 minutes. Hmm. I wonder if you were if you were to borrow that, copy it, and then return it, whether that would be acceptable. Because then it's not a permanent. See, there's a the thing about. It's the thing about theft. If you ever get accused of theft, you can say, well, no, I stuck, I stuck the thing back. You know, it wasn't my intent to permanently deprive. That's the wording of the law. I didn't wish to permanently deprive. So if I borrow that, see if we can play it, and I'll bring it back here and put it back there. God, this is old school, actually, looking at it. Um, so, uh, yeah, I wonder if it's... Uh, oh. Yeah, that ain't gonna play, is it? Damn it. Right, um, so look at this old uh, bad boy. Ooh, look at that. Speed selector. Power. It's very Frankenstein, isn't it? Very Frankenstein. You know? 
This is a voltmeter, I believe, 110 volts. We've got liquid starter, accelerator or retard, and the gear oil pump. Gear oil. So some of it might have been hydraulic, that's probably what they mean by gear oil. Mill bearing pumps. Or maybe it is just oil for the bearings because they're working so hard with crushing the rocks. These are relay, contact relays. So these would have, uh, I think, can't see how they open and close, but they would they would probably shut to start and stop. You push a button here, and these will chunk on, you push another button, they'll chunk off. So that's your relays. And I don't know what these are down here. Look like resistor packs. It could be fuses, but it looks like resistor packs. Anybody got any idea what these are down here? Oh, and these look like meters. So we're seeing the back of them. So like a voltmeter and maybe an ammeter. Let's see if I'm right. Let's go and look around the back. Woohee! Woohee! It is indeed a voltmeter. And that one, no, that's a special one. That's a liquid meter. That's amp meters. But that one with all the connectors, that's a special one. So you've got gear, oil pump, so you can start it and stop it on the front, and you can do it inside. So there's a few things there, interesting. What does it say? Turn off jacking pump when mill is running. It says tube mill. And the starting sequence is, start the gear oil pump, so start, start the bearing oil pump, start, then start the mill motor. So we have to make sure this, the stop is out first, so we make sure that's out, and then start it. And it don't work, so you do this and then kick it and then pull the fuses out like that and then, then it works it's just it's called Fonzie technology so you just have to kick it and click, click your fingers so uh, yeah pumps which are probably what they were talking about that's the, that's the oil pump for the bearings so that's the oil goes into the bearings for the motor up there so that's probably what they run about there Sa safety procedures hello there's actually some documents in here. Blue Circle Industries PLC. A date would be good. Can we find a date? Oh, here we go. Date. 1989. 19th of the 11th, 89. So what's that then? Uh, that's 30 years ago, isn't it? Yeah. 30. It's my car. Yeah. So, bloody hell. It's got a fire point. And uh, some sort of uh, weighted weighted lever, yeah. Somebody's torch. An old one. An old one, yeah. That's one of those old Ever Ready types, isn't it? You don't see that anymore, do you? No. Wow. You put batteries in those like about three a minute or something, don't you? There's no batteries in it, unfortunately. No. Oh. Mm. Small boots. Oh, look, steam magazines. So, you know, people who work in heavy industry, they're, they're interested in things like steam locomotives and women draped over steamy hot engines. Steam porn. Did you see if there's a date on that? Yeah, yeah. 1990. 1990, yeah, so one, one year after this place, that, that the documentation. There's some old... Um, lights there for contract lighting so I don't know if my camera is pointing down there just make sure it is pointing down contract lights like that oh it's a big old um, uh, high pressure lamp for the ceiling and here's some electronics MTC processor unit a bit of electronics there oh, probably cost a fair, fair packet in its day all this switch equipment here, prior to uh, what's known as PLC. This is like old school, probably before PLC. I don't know that. So manual switching ma ma networks, manually controlled, manually programmed, but through an automatic uh, panel. Ooh, what else have we got? We've got some electric switches down here. That looks like a transformer. Oil level meter for the transformer. 
couple of transformers. Ooh. It's a fair old bit of copper, yeah. I'm not going to suggest uh, anyone comes down and uh, has a look, but yeah. I'm sure once they watch, watch this video, there'll be a few visitors here now. Oh dear. Oh right, we've got some nice equipment down here as well. So it doesn't end, it doesn't end. We've got the electric cupboards, yeah. You alright out there, John? Yeah, he's gone for a walk. Oh, he's look at his little nest here. Yeah. Quite well made as well, look, it's all built up quite nicely. You've got independent independent containers here, yeah. was it? This locks? No, the lock's gone off it. Somebody's taking their lock mechanisms away. Or something. Oh no no no. These, these arms, bent out the way, these connect up with the front panel, so they're meant to connect with that, so, but somebody's bent them, so they don't make good contact, hang on, let's just, so if I bend that into position like that, that should make contact with that, there, yeah, and now you can operate the, operate the controls, but, ha, ha, old school. Ooh, this looks interested. No unauthorized entry to this substation. Danger high voltage. Hmm. And it's been opened. So there's a substation in here. Bet it's been turned off at the big mains though. So I wonder whether the uh, cable cable locusts will uh, be in awe of the massive high power cables in this place. Oh dear, don't do it. I'm not going to touch anything in here, but there's, now that looks like um, network equipment for um, for different stuff that's outside, but what's this? A Sammy Star Stromberg slurry pump, slurry pump. I wonder what these things do. Hmm, Sammy Star Stromberg. I'm going to have a look at when they go home. There they are, 1,000, 3,000 volt transformer. And all the oil's gone out, look onto the floor. And turned back to tar. Ugh. I'm not going to go too close to any of this stuff, just in case. But yeah, I don't think it's connected because we'd hear a buzzing out of that. And I'm not hearing a buzzing, so... Where's that? Yeah, bad boy. Mmm. Crusher. Crusher. And it's locked off. Wow. <sighs> Look at all these as well. Ching, 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 ching. And what's this over here? This looks like something. Ah, ABB. ABB is. They're like the ports company, aren't they? ABB. Aren't they something to do with ports? I don't know what they are, but ABB. I didn't know they made equipment. I thought they were like a ports company, but... Oh well. There's <laughs> not really much behind it. Although you can see actually what's in these cabinets. This panel's been taken off. Mm. The switching mechanisms. There's big fuses there, those white things. You're like 400 amp fuses, or maybe more even, I don't know. Uh, you've got um, ring, um, toy toroidal rings there um, for creating inductance. Look at the thickness of that cable there, which has been chopped. It says main incomer terminals, look, danger, 3,300 volts. So it comes in here, massive voltage. <sighs> Bad boy, you can see, like when we're in London, you can see the, the, the cable has got um, metal protection around it. Um, and then there's like multiple layers of insulation on the inside, that's what we were seeing in London. Uh, somebody told me that they are fed with oil, some of them as well. And if the oil comes out of them, They'll explode. So that was a, an engineer was talking about that. 
Oh, here we are, look, what's this then? Sentinel. Air circuit breaker. Air circuit breaker. And it's just loads of contacts up there. Maybe these contacts are, if something goes wrong, then this will switch off. So these are like trippers, you know, going out to sense circuits. If something happens, like level gets too high, little needle valve or something, you know, senses water's got too high in some place or temperature's gone too high, it'll come into here and junk, it'll just kill everything. Oh, here we go. Big list. There you go. That must have been a borehole outside. Yeah, borehole. He was right. Borehole tank correspond contents depth depth. So it's obviously a meter on it that comes into here to through through all these like these little panels so you can probably like say from outside goes up to the borehole and you can tell how much fluid's in there if it gets too much or too little do something switch something you know Wonder what it says on the front mm. sub analogs panel yeah 2002 yeah so there are analogs cards from outside so you can either have di digital network or an analog network so they're running analog leads from outside to switch stuff trouble with analog is you get interference on it so hey what's this then ABB look there's a little control panel here running out there great stuff wow I did know that there's an old health and safety sign down there as well about an electric shock mm. that's quite good treatment of electric shock if you if you can read this after you've had an electric shock you clearly haven't had an electric shock yeah <laughs> Treatment of electric shock. Pour water on your eyes to stop them burning. <laughs> Push them back into your head gently. Mm. So we've got some more motors down here. And uh, oh yeah, it's flooded. Ah. Right. I'm a bit feeling a bit sorry for um, Mr. John, so I might go back in a minute. Here we go, some big old electrical containers. It's amazing, isn't it? Most of this is just air. A couple of boxes at the bottom is just air. But uh, it's like those old uh, hi fi's you used to get from Curry's years ago, like, you know, cheap Chinese ones, and you, you like open them up and it's, there's nothing in there, it's just air. Right, what have we got here before we go then? We've got some sort of uh, crusher or is this something coming out the bottom. Uh, where does it feed in? You just chuck stuff in there and it comes out of the bottom or is it self-fed? Can't see any pipes to it. Can't see any pipes on that one. There's a lot of pipes go down here. So, you see the, uh, the transfer transfer there. They've taken out some of the some of the bolts, it would seem, because it's not going to run on one. It's not going to run on one pin, so they've actually taken some of those out. And hmm, I imagine that 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 seal there is not going to be perfect, so you're going to get some sort of drip down. Which you seem to get some sort of marks here, and then it's going to fall into this slurry pit here. But, uh, I reckon that pipe on there would have come from the bottom here. Mm hmm. Where it would have gone to, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if I can get up on the. Uh, is there a way to get up on that. Uh, on that thing? Did you see a steps around this side? Oh, yeah, here we are. Almost missed these. Let's go have a look at this big bad boy motor then. Crompton Parkinson. Crompton Parkinson. So there's a smaller transfer into there, and you've got this one. I wonder if you've got a smaller motor to start the bigger motor spinning, because it takes a lot to get that going. So you've got a small starter motor feeding larger motor. Once it gets up to to speed, wow, that container with. 
huge deep container. I wonder if that was an oil oil container because it certainly looked very oily here. But they used to oil the bearings. See those sensors to see whether the bearings have been oiled properly. Those are sensors there, and there's one over here as well. So this is the sort of thing you know it would warn them. It's like you know needs needs greasing, and they push the button, give it a bit of grease. Wow, this is a gear gearing mech. I reckon this is a gear gear mechanism because they'd spin this very quickly but then gear it down to produce an incredible crushing force down here so this must be a gear I'm guessing um, but as you know my guesses are often wrong so what do you think this is then? gear? it's got something on it that says pounds bar pressure and there's pressure switches here what other clues have we got? Some big old flywheels there, and we've got more, more pressure leads. Whoa, what have we done here? More pressure leads going in there. Oh, I can hear my doggy going, going mad outside. So let's have a quick look up here. So far, I'm really impressed with this place. Never knew it was here. Oh, here we go. This is a little uh, refuge. Wanksy, yeah. In the neck, five thousand pound fine, or oh, euros. Oh, so that's like two pound fifty, isn't it? Right, okay. There's um, Fahu and the Jew crew. So, and Wanksy. All representing in the house. So, oh, nice scary, uh, scary gantries. And a little view outside. These wobble as well. So, there we go. Top, top notch entertainment, free of charge. Has to get inside the. Uh, the chamber. So it was a sealed con containment uh, compartment then. I wonder if all these um, these bolts here are actually pins. So when it's turning, it's swirling against pins. And what they could do is, every once in a while, if they wear off, the pins wear off, they can extract them and stick a new pin in, screw it in. Because it's got to be something inside turning like teeth or something against pins. And I can't see why they would need to be there unless they were actually like teeth. What do you reckon? Oh, it says, I'd, I'll put money on it. <laughs> put money on it. Right, they, don't want you, they don't want us going up here for some reason, but I can't see why. It's not, it's not exciting enough to want to climb over because you can see it from here. And uh, that's a look out at the pool over there. Wondering if you can actually get inside that chamber from up there. That's big enough for a bloke, isn't it? If yeah. you open that inspection hatch. There's a few of those. One, one, it's four, two, three, four, yeah. I wonder what was inside here. If anyone knows what the configuration would be, whether it's pins pointing out into pins pointing in, or whether it's some sort of like cylindrical drum like you get in a washing machine or something. If anybody knows, that'd be kind of interesting. All right, so here we go. One last look. Excellent. Where's that? Oh, there's an owl. Yeah, he's, oh, he's just gone out. wonder whether you caught him. He just flew out through the, uh, the gap at the end, an owl. <laughs> this then? Type SCI direct on starter isolator. Mm. One last look at uh, this. There must be teeth down there surely. There's got to be teeth in there. Give, give us some teeth down there please. Yeah. Okay well on that note 
And one last look at down here as well. Let's have a look down here. Got any teeth? Any teeth? Got any teeth down there? Any teeth? Whoops. Oops, a daisy. So, and uh, oh, I could have done it that way really, didn't I? They've got to be in there somewhere, haven't they? Grinder teeth. Alright, fire point 42. I wonder if um, you would mind yeah, holding on to that for a sec. Okay, yeah, cheers. Um, yeah, I'll just for climb out and you can hand it to us. You got me in shot. You can, if you can turn it if it's if you need to like that. Yep. Yep. Okay. Wow. It's the reverse of what we did earlier on. Just watch your shoulder on that side. Yeah, that's it. Right, see if I can help a bit. Watch out, you got your hood stuck. There you go. Ah, dear dear. Trying to shag, um, she's been trying to shag Richard whilst we've been away. John, you mean? Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry, Richard, this is in here, yes. Ah, sorry, John. Yeah. Whoa, that's better. Right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna come back a bit and hopefully not fall off. Wait, wait, look at this. Look at this. Exploited. Hot, hot Malamute action going on out here. Wait, wait. Angel, growl at her. So wait to kind of tell her no because she doesn't understand anything else. She's like, Arr! Here comes uh, Richard. Take your time. Don't want to scratch up your clothes. Nicely done. Do you want to go in and have a look? Um, I'll watch it in the edit. You sure? <laughs> it's quite a lazy way to do it. It's quite big in there. It's quite big. There's a large thing that looks like you chuck stuff in it and it grinds it up. Big motors, big uh, rooms for electric. Yeah. There's a lot more to it than I realised. It's a big old building that. Yeah. Going back all the way. So that's that's our explore for the day I think. So if you like that, then uh, don't subscribe. I ain't got no t-shirts. Um, but uh, you can you can I don't know un, un, undo yourself of about uh, a thousand pounds and stick it in my PayPal. There we go. So uh, otherwise, good night.